Hey guys and welcome to this video tutorial on the R programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open a CSV file using R. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I've already opened up um, the help over here to the right and you can see that we have this function called read.csv that we can use and it takes in a file and it makes sure to get the header of the file and that it's separator R or separators are commas. So um, that's the default. So that's the file that we're going to use. First we're going to create a variable. We're going to call it my data. And now we're going to use the read.csv function to read in our file. And we need quotations here. We can either uh, say file equals and then um, quotations and the file path. So the file path goes in here right within the quotations and here I have my file so this is some data I got from the Kaggle website a CSV file of some house data and what I'm going to do is right click and go to properties to get the file location and here we see location I'm just going to copy all of that I'm going to go back to our studio and I'm going to paste the file path here again we um, don't have to put file equals and I'm not going to and then we also need to put the file name that we want to open. So I put another slash here and I'm going to get this file name here. I'm just copying it. I right click copy and then I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. Now I'm using a Windows uh, machine and what you'll see is if I press enter here, we're going to get an error message and that's because of these slashes here. So we're going to have to reverse those. So let me go ahead and show you the error message. So we get error. Um, then we get the slash u used without, or sorry, backslash u used without hex. So I'm going to press the up arrow. And what we're going to do is just we're going to reverse all of these, um, all these slashes here. So I'm just going to do it one by one. And there we go. Last one here. All right. So now let's go ahead and press enter. And now you can see that we get our data frame called my data. It has 1,460 observations or rows um, and 81 um, features. So these are our columns. And we can check this by saying in row and then my data. And you can see we get 1,460 and in column and then input my data and you can see we get 81. Now a good way to see this data is just by double clicking here. Um, what we can also do is we can say my data and you can see all of this data. It's kind of hard to read. So again, I would just suggest that you double click here. And we get this nice uh, looking table here. And that's basically it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you really enjoyed the video. And please leave any questions you have, uh, likes, comments. Um, just know anytime we click this, uh, my data is the same thing as just saying view data, it's the same thing as just running the view function. Um, again, please subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.